All right, guys, what is up, everyone? It is Krishan, man. I know it's been a minute, but it's good to be back. If you're clicking on this video, pretty much it's because of the title, right? Um, and to be honest, this is something that I've really been wanting to talk about for a while. So what I'm going to talk about today, I'm not going to say that this happens to every single developer. I'm not saying that this will happen to you. But what I'm simply sharing is what happened to me as a developer. What happened to my life? What happened to my last two relationships within it. And this is very personal. And it's very personal. Uh, I'm not gonna give out the names um, or anything, but I'm sharing this because I know that I don't ever want this to happen to me again. I don't wanna make this mistake again. And for everyone else who's aspiring to be an engineer, right? Or for those who already are, or those who are just about to get your first job or whatever, right? I don't want the same thing to happen to you. The lifestyle you get from being a developer compared to when I wasn't a developer, it's a world of a difference. If you've been following me since the beginning of this channel, then you know that I lived in a, a bedroom that's half the size of this office right now for about three to four years, maybe five years. Uh, you also know that before even living there, I lived at my friend's house in Bellflower and we couldn't even afford beds and the, the floor that we slept on wasn't carpet, it was hardwood floors. So I used my towels, a bunch of towels and my clothes as a cushion for me to sleep on. Um, during that time, I worked three jobs, 60 hours a week, and I still only made enough to the point where I could only live off 49 cent tacos from Del Taco, right? Or a couple noodles. That's all I ate every single day. And life would get so hard to the point where I would even live in my car for three months. Crazy, right? <laughs> Just thinking about it. And I think because I came from that life, I, because I came from a life that was so difficult and hard, where I didn't know how I would find eat food the next day. I, I wasn't sure if I would my gas would even last long enough to make it to the next week. Living that life, coming from that to where I am now, where I don't even look at the gas prices. Not I'm not trying to show off at all, okay? I'm just like, it's just different. Like, I just put in my gas, I know I need it. It doesn't matter how much it costs, I need to fill up my tank. When I go to the grocery store, I buy what I need. I don't look, I don't worry about if I have enough money for next week to buy more food for me or my dog. Uh, the lifestyle that I have now compared to before is totally different. You know, from living in a car to having my own bedroom apartment in a very high-end community is crazy, right? And I think because I was so scared of going back to my former life, because I was so scared of losing my job because of imposter syndrome, because I was scared that I wouldn't meet the standards to become someone who is valuable in this industry, I worked and worried and put more effort into my career than I should have. With my first relationship, we were together for about four years. It was a great relationship. We were doing very well. But the moment I got my job as a developer, the moment I got my first check in after, after my first three weeks there, that big check I've never received in my life before, that changed everything for me. To the point where, yes, I used to go out all the time with my girlfriend, right? But to, I went from that, to spending time with her too, sorry, I, I can't hang out right now, I need to study code. I, need, I, I know I've been you know, coding for three months, but I still don't know HTML, CSS enough. Always panicking, thinking I'll never know enough. Where every single day, what's happening is that I'm studying code and I'm worrying. I remember for that first year at my first job, I was panicking, thinking that I might like, get let go. Because I kept thinking I wasn't good enough. Um, even when it came to my second relationship. Honestly, probably the best relationship I've ever been in. Usually for me guys, personally, um, when it comes to relationships, I could move on in weeks, right? With that first person, like that first person I had mentioned, I got over her in three weeks, but this last person I was in a relationship with, I'll be honest guys, I'm still not over her. Like I think about her every couple days. I miss her still to this day. And I've never been like that guy. I've never been that person where I hold on to my feelings for a person, right? That relationship, to be honest, like we were, perfect for each other. It's insane how similar we were in our personalities, in our favorite movies, and what we like to eat, what we like to do, where we like to hang out, being home bodies, right? Just like watching Netflix together all day or, you know, traveling to one place and just like, all we needed was each other. And I was actually with this person six months to a year before I got my job at Entrepreneur. Like, it's crazy. Like, even when our relationship ended, even this person's friends, would approach me, I'm like, what happened? You, like, you guys were so good together, right? Um, it sucks, right? And, and we'll never get back together ever again. But that also ended because we had different aspirations. Not gonna lie, she was a lot younger than me, right? So we had a kind of big age gap, but we worked out so well, but we just had different goals in life. She wanted to focus one part, 
that I used to focus on, I just didn't want to focus on that anymore. For me, I wanted to focus on my career. That was very important to me. And that's something, to be honest, I, I wish I didn't, I, that's something I wish I did not sacrifice. I was so focused on just learning the latest technologies. I was so focused on honestly making a lot of YouTube videos, right? I was so focused on, I was so paranoid I might lose my job because I'll tell you this, man, like going from a lash out to entrepreneur is a world of a difference as well. The technologies you work on, the bugs you have to solve, it's it's much diff more difficult here than my last job. It's a bigger company, much bigger company, right? Worldwide known. I, mean, I was always paranoid. Not even just that. It, it sucks because I used to live, I can say the city now, I used to live in Buena Park, which is a lot closer to where she lived. But because I work in Irvine, I decided to move closer to work. I was tired and exhausted of driving through an hour and a half, an hour to an hour and a half of traffic every single day, one way in LA traffic, pretty much. So it's tough. And so what I ended up doing, because I could afford it, because I got that big raise working on entrepreneur.com, because YouTube was doing well, I decided to get my own place, decided to get my own apartment, right? And, and because of that, because I decided to do all those different things and, and just like have a better lifestyle per se, what ended up happening, and I didn't realize this, I wish I knew this at the time. Moving closer to work, and me it meant, what it meant was that I was moving further away from her. And for me, when I really think about it, that was stupid because then what happened, because I wanted to move a lot closer to my new job, me and my last girlfriend, we started seeing each other less and less and less. And to the point where we would see each other once a week, if not only every one of two weeks, to be honest. And that was so hard on me. And that was also really hard on her. We didn't want to say it at the time. And I wish I didn't do that. Why? I wanted to move close to work so I could be more awake, I could get more sleep, so I could focus on my job better. And it's not my job's fault at all, it's mine. Um, because I wanted to keep improving my lifestyle and I kept wanting to prove to my family and my friends that I was doing well. That I wanted to prove to everyone that doubted me that I can, I did it. Because I was so focused on that. Uh, because I wanted to get that job maybe at Amazon or get, you know, just get better at everything. That I lost track of what was most important to me, which was her. Not gonna lie though, man, that, that's the biggest regret I've ever had. Move, moving to work, close to the work was the biggest regret I've ever had. At the same time, I, I love that I live close to the work, but dang, for me, it wasn't worth it, right? If you watch my videos before, you'll see that coding was my life. My Instagram, go to my Instagram, right, and check it out where all I did was just post pictures of code and how it's my life and it's everything. And it really is, even up to this point. And it still is, but I'll tell you this, when I do get in a new relationship in the future. And I'll tell you this, I actually started dating a few girls. I dated someone um, in USC that, that's a dentist, right? Or going to dental school. I w went out on a date with someone who was a pharmacist. Uh, she moved here from Boston, right? I went on a date with this um, aspiring lawyer and all these people critics. I guess I'm more attracted to people who have careers now. I, it just never worked out because I still couldn't let go of that last person, right? I've had these opportunities to date more people, new people. But I just don't wanna be in a relationship right now. Also, I have my my dog, Tofu, which is the best dog in the world. But I'll tell you this, man. Whenever I find that next person, right, that I decide to really, you know, have a life with and share this life with, I'm not gonna make these mistakes anymore. I'm not gonna make coding my life. I'm gonna make a goal to improve. I'm, I'm going through some courses on Treehouse. I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna check them out. Like, it's still my life, but when I, get in a new relationship, when I find a new person. My goal, will, yes, will be improved, but I will not allow code to take over my life anymore. I'll work 40 to 50 hours if they need me to do it. That's fine, that's of course, man, right? We get paid well for a reason. I just, man, I don't, I just don't ever want to let, I don't want everyone to let this happen ever again, right? Um, that's why I haven't been uploading to YouTube as much as I used to. It's hard, um, it's been tough for me, but it's just things I have to push through. I was so focused on making more money, so focused on getting better, so focused on accomplishing things, right? Before what? <laughs> it sucks. And I wish that I didn't. But now I'm here, right? So I just really thought I'd share this one thing or two things that happened in my life that I regret big time. If I can start all over again, I would have done it differently. I wouldn't let my, my goals or my I, I wouldn't let that dream of being so successful ruin something so important in my life. Sometimes we get so focused on all these different things that we forget what's really in front of us already, right? So, yeah. Anyway, 
that's all I want to share, guys. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> yeah. Also, by the way, don't mind my shirt. I know it says Dev's life is ripped out because I watched the same shirt over and over again, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. And I'm out. See you guys later. New video coming out Saturday. Peace.